Hi everyone, how's life and welcome to Walt Disney World 2023 vlog. This is going to be quite long so get your snacks because we're going to be here for quite a while. So as many of you know, I was recently in Walt Disney World. I was there from, I want to say the 22nd of March until the 4th or 5th of April. I was there for about two weeks. The vlogs are all now up so you can check them out if you wish to. I did daily vlogs but also I do have some more specific vlogs coming up in the future as well so make sure you subscribe for those. But so many of you requested for me to do a haul and because it's been a while since I've been to Walt Disney World, the last time I was there was about three years ago, I thought why not because I did actually buy quite a lot of things and that's why like I said this video will be long. I thought for any of you guys going to Walt Disney World in the next next year or so this might be useful you might kind of get a glimpse of what is available currently at Walt Disney World so yeah without further ado let's get to it the first thing I want to talk about is of course what I'm wearing which is this lovely spirit jersey now you may have seen me talk about this and show this in one of my earlier vlogs Disney World vlogs I think it might have been day one or two I first spotted this in Magic Kingdom in Tomorrowland and I fell in love with it if any of you know me this is very much me I love the shade of blue here of course I love spirit jerseys anyway it says Walt Disney World here and with the like little bits of white looks like dashes of paint in a way I don't know what you guys think could also be clouds you can basically use your imagination and decide what you want these little white bits to be but I love it I love wearing spray jerseys I wear them all the time even when I'm not at Disney and I thought this one was a very nice shade spray jersey was about $70 by the way most spray jerseys in Walt Disney World are $70 and then I also got the matching ears with them the ears were about $34 or $35 if I'm not misremembering it is hard because obviously I have taken the tags off and I've been using them. I have actually worn them um, before now. And there you go. Spray jersey as well. I actually wore this in Hollywood Studios on one of my days in Walt Disney World. So not only did I buy stuff at Disney World, I actually used them whilst I was still there as well, which was awesome, you know? So yeah, that's the first thing. It's what I'm already wearing. I do have a lot more to go through though. But before I show them to you, I want to give a massive thank you to Wild, which are the sponsors of this video. Wild is a sustainable, cruelty-free, vegan deodorant. I've been using them for almost a year now and I absolutely loved it. Honestly, since I made the switch to Wild, not only do I feel better, especially on long park days when it can get hot and you do need deodorant, obviously, but also I love their cases, I love their scents, and it's been great for my skin as well. So what I want to talk to you about today, actually, is something very special, something that I think most of you will probably enjoy. So as you know, the live action of The Little Mermaid, my favourite Disney film of all time, is coming out at the end of May 2023. I'm actually very excited about it. I love the casting. I'm so looking forward to seeing how it's going to be made. But in collaboration with Disney, Wild have actually released a new case that is very much... <laughs> Look at that, honestly, it's very much Little Mermaid themed. I mean, can you see the Little Mermaid sign on top? Disney's The Little Mermaid, and you can see the beautiful tail of Ariel, and the colour of this case is just stunning. Like, absolutely gorgeous. I kind of like that it's not fully out Disney either. It's just like a nice hint of Disney. It says Little Mermaid on top. You see, obviously, Ariel's tail on both sides, but at the same time, it's not too over the top. So... Even if you don't like Little Mermaid that much, if you just like the design of this, you could absolutely use this. I think it is gorgeous. Now, with working with Wild for the past year, I do have a couple of cases with them, but this one's probably my favourite, honestly. All the designs are great, but being a big Disney fan, <laughs> how can you not like this? And obviously, the good thing about Wild deodorants is that these cases are refillable. So, the whole idea behind Wild is to change the way we think about bathroom products. You don't have to constantly throw things away and buy new things. In the long run, not only are you helping the planet by not using too much plastic, but also you're helping yourself because you don't have to constantly buy new stuff. You just have to buy refills for the deodorant case itself. And to celebrate the release of the live action of Little Mermaid coming out soon, Wild have also released a new limited edition scent, which is the Ocean Mist one here. This is basically what all the scents look like. You can buy these or you can subscribe to them so they can send them to you whenever you want to. And you can also cancel whenever you want to, by the way. So don't worry about it. If you want to try it out, you can try it and then if you're not happy with it you can cancel but why would you because it is so good so you buy these little scents this is the new one as I said you put it in your case just like that there you go and then you put the case back in this is the lid and you just switch it like that and there it is then you can just use it but <sighs> Let me talk to you about the smell because this ocean mist smell honestly is perfect for the summer. The smell is so fresh, it's so crisp, it also has some hints of jasmine and lily in it and it just makes me feel so relaxed like it just reminds you of the seaside which obviously goes perfectly with the cases in as well, the little mermaid case with the beautiful mermaid tail they've got but 
oh, the smell is amazing. But if you don't like this smell, they have so many other scents on the website, which you can check out as well. The link will be down below. I also have a 20% discount code for you. So if you use the code Sam Disney at checkout, you can get 20% off whatever product you buy from the Wild website. So check out the link below. They ship worldwide as well, so it doesn't matter where you are in the world. And you can make the switch to Wild as well. Like I said, they've got so many other designs. You can even personalize your case if you wish to. But if you're a big Disney fan, if you're excited about the Little Mermaid as much as I am, then this case and this scent especially. Oh my god. See, if you've already got a case for Wild, just buy the scent. That's the beauty of Wild products. You don't even have to constantly change cases if you don't want to. Although, like I said, this little moment was, is amazing, but the scent is a winner. So, let me know in the comments down below if you end up buying this new Ariel case or the Ocean Mist scent, which is obviously limited edition as well, using my code Sam Disney to get 20% off. I'd love to see what you end up buying from the Wild website. And thank you so much to Wild for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to the haul now. Okay, well, I think because I've got so much here, we might as well start with the freebies first because you do actually get some free stuff believe it or not when you go to Walt Disney World. Now one fun thing that I did on this trip is that I went to the Riviera Resort and checked out Topolina's Terrace Character Breakfast which is very very popular if you want to get a dining reservation you need to be very quick with those, very hard to get and if you go to that character breakfast you get this card and it's got all the characters that you meet in their beautiful cute outfits and on the back it says Riviera Resort. It's nice, a nice little signature card, I like keeping these. Another fun thing I have for free is this card which has Olaf's signature, I met Olaf in Hollywood Studios but because he's got stick hands he can't really sign so when you meet him they give out these uh, or you know already signed little cards this is Hollywood Studios in the back I was also in Disney World just before Easter so I think the week leading up to Easter so one day I met Mr. and Mrs. Easter Bunny they're called in the Magic Kingdom and they gave me this which again has their autographs and on the other side it says Happy Easter Magic Kingdom uh, very cute nice little souvenir to have Disney World still does paper maps so I picked up some of these for the different parks because I like keeping these you know again from the different years that I've been to it's nice to look back on it was also the flower and garden festival which you might have seen some of it in my vlog so there you go I got the little I think it's called like a passport of some sort yeah Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival 2023 festival passport it's got all the information you need for the food booths and things that you can do during the festival it's very cute unfortunately I didn't get to do too much of the festival I tried some of the snacks but because obviously there's just so much to do in Disney World you cannot do it all especially when they've got festivals on at Epcot which tends to be almost all year round these days so I didn't have time to do everything for the festival but I did do some of it I met the butterflies I ate some of the snacks and there will be a snacks video coming up soon as well Another thing I picked up from Epcot is this one, Finding Dory's Friends, a fantastic scavenger hunt. I didn't get to do the scavenger hunt, unfortunately. I didn't even know you could do this, but it's a cute thing, I think, for children, I think, especially, could be fun. They have some stickers in there. This is in, like, the other side of Epcot, um, not the World Showcase, but the futuristic side. Yeah, cute little souvenir again. The first day that I checked in into Animal Kingdom Lodge, a lovely cast member called Morgan, if I'm not mistaken, gave me this. Even though I've definitely been to Disney World before, this wasn't my first visit to Walt Disney World because it was my first time staying at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. She just wanted to do something nice for me, so she gave this to me. My first time staying at Animal Kingdom Lodge, and she put my name on it, which is cute. I got some of these 50th anniversary mints. Um, basically just a couple for myself and also for presents for souvenirs for people I know my friend Rebecca is a big fan of mints and these are actually very cute because they've, they've got character shaped uh, mints in there which is awesome and it's a nice little tin as well which you can keep as a souvenir after you've finished the mints if you wish to I got myself a couple of hand gels or hand sanitizers because unlike Disneyland Paris Disney World I noticed very quickly that they don't really have hand sanitizer around the parks anymore like at all they had a couple of places where the actual bottle was there but it was completely empty I never found a bottle that actually had hand sanitizer in it so well, so I normally carry like a very boring hand sanitizer let me show you normally I just carry these ones I normally tend to put them in my bag and it's sometimes difficult to constantly get it out of your bag and then use it on your hands and put it back in but Disney World actually sells them as keychains so I bought a couple of those because they're just so much more convenient especially because I use backpacks all the time so I could just attach them to my backpacks and then the hand sanitizer would constantly be available to me I wouldn't have to look for it in my bag or anything you can see the back and you can actually refill these as well if you wish to I mean the case you can keep forever um, so yeah there you go this is a mini mouse one which I thought was cute this one's actually already fully used the other one I got is another one another mini mouse one this one's pink and it's got mini on there very cute it's the same thing again and then my favorite is probably this one this one actually still has some in it as well and I've been taking it to Disneyland Paris with me since I've come back it's a green alien one very very cool and then it's also got a cute little an alien attached to it as well yeah these are so fun so useful and of course it's nice to still be safe as well you need to be it's important covid is still there i got this cute forky mug as a little present for my mom this was about 12.99 dollars 
So yeah, I thought it was quite cute. My mum loves Forky, so do I, and I've never seen this anywhere before. Thought it was fun that you actually get this cute little Forky, and it's also a pen. Also got myself a pen, and this is the Donald pen. I don't remember seeing this before, maybe it's been around for a while, but I just thought it was so cute with his little hat. It does say Disney Parks on the side. And this was definitely cheaper than the 4K one. I want to say maybe about $8 if I'm not mistaken. I can't see the price there. But yeah, these are cute. I really wanted to get myself a 2023 pin or a 2023 magnet or just something to commemorate the fact that I was in Walt Disney World in 2023 for the first time since the pandemic started. But I couldn't really find much that I wanted. It had a lot of like t-shirts and stuff, but I didn't want to buy anything too big with the number 2023 on it. So I ended up picking up this instead, which is quite a big 2023 keychain by the looks of it this was about ten dollars without tax and yeah it's got 2023 written here on the other side it says Walt Disney World which is quite cute and you've also got quite a lot of the characters here and I love the colors you've even got the castle you've got Mickey Minnie yeah the colors are very oh my god is that even Epcot look at that and notice they've even got the Epcot ball here yeah I thought this was a cool purchase and I use keychains a lot I can probably just attach it to one of my backpacks if I want to so yeah I was happy with it I wanted to get my aunt something as a little souvenir as well and I found this which I thought was quite cute so uh, when my aunt and cousin and I went to Walt Disney World in 2020 that was our last time before the pandemic we went to Beaches and Cream at the Beach Club and this is like a nice little souvenir of that we ate this like they call it like a kitchen sink we actually got the big kitchen sink one not the mickey's pants one but i just thought this was so fun i mean look at that just looks really cute with the mickey hands and you can actually purchase this at beaches and cream if you want to speaking of my aunt i also got her this this little cute keychain that literally says the words number one aunt on it and it's a t-shirt with um the fab five and a little mickey shaped um i guess silhouette it's very cute on the back it just says Disney. My aunt has been such a big help this year, especially with what happened to my mom earlier in the year with the hit and run accident that she was in. Unfortunately, my, my aunt lives in Austria. She came to the rescue. She came to just be here as support because I honestly didn't have anyone in terms of family. And it was very overwhelming being kind of the one person having to look after my mom. So she really helped out a lot. And she's an amazing aunt. So I'm gonna have to send that to her as well. Also for my cousin, because she's a big Mandalorian fan, especially Grogu, I bought this because she also really likes like sweet things. So there you go, I thought this was very, very cute. Look how adorable Grogu is. Really fun. I actually got this uh, at the airport at Orlando International Airport on the way back. So I'm gonna have to send this to her to Vienna very soon. Speaking about the airport from MCO, I also got myself this. I don't know why, but I guess on this trip I didn't go to Universal. I just didn't have time. I wanted to focus mainly on Disney. And I thought, why not? Let's get, just get myself a little chocolate frog from the airport i haven't eaten it yet but now that i've shown it to you i might eat it later today got this little keychain for my brother let me show that to you there you go i just thought it was quite cute it says number one brother and it's the mickey hats very cute nice little souvenir for him oh yeah speaking of easter because like i said it was close to easter time when i was in Walt disney world kind of end of march early april they had these really fun easter ears and i just thought they were adorable especially because if you look closely you can find Judy Hopps on them. Like it's basically different rabbits from different Disney movies. Um, you've got Rabbit from Winnie the Pooh, you've got Judy Hopps. It's just so cute, but Judy Hopps here especially, I just thought was adorable. And it's even got actual bunny ears, which you can, you know, extend if you wish to. I just thought these were very cute. I actually wore these on the day that I met uh, Mr. and Mrs. Easter Bunny. And there'll be a photo on my Instagram. So check out my Instagram page if you want to. It's called Sound For God. I got a couple of these reusable bags because they actually had an offer and they were half price because the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World was coming to an end whilst I was visiting. Quite a few of the 50th anniversary stuff was discounted and the bags definitely were. So I got actually, I want to say about three or four of them. These ones were the mediums. I don't think they had any large ones left. I think they sold out of those. But they wanted to sell out of these ones as well because obviously they wanted to move on to 100 years of Disney. But yeah, these ones I thought were quite cute. Nice little souvenir. 50th on one side, Mickey and Minnie on the other side. And then this is the small size, if you're wondering. Same kind of design. Actually, it hasn't got Mickey and Minnie on this one. It's more like the castle. I think I actually prefer this one. The size, I think, is cool. And because it hasn't got a big Mickey and Minnie, I feel like it's a bit more usable in and around town generally. You've got Tinkerbell on the other side, though. Yeah, very cool. Speaking of the 50th, another thing that I wanted to buy 
is this little thing so this was originally $12.99 but I managed to get this for about $7.99 if I'm not mistaken but um yeah this is basically look at it I haven't actually opened it yet the statues that they've got going on so they've got 50 different characters around the four parks in Walt Disney World like gold statues and it was really fun spotting them around the parks and this is like a mystery thing so I'm actually gonna open it now because I'm curious to see which one I'm gonna get I love blind boxes if any of you are like old subscribers of my channel you know that back in the days eight nine years ago I used to do so many blind box videos where I would like just buy a bunch of blind box Disney stuff and I would open them up and I loved it I loved it a lot of those stuff are now gone I've given them to people I don't need those stuff anymore but I still get excited opening them oh okay ah oh, okay that's cute right let me show this to you this is from Moana pure and hey hey and the awkward thing is though i actually don't remember seeing this in real life if any of you guys know let me know which park are they in is it animal kingdom because i truly just don't remember seeing them i saw a lot of the statues and you would have seen some of them in the vlogs i did show them but not this one but it does have the 50th logo on the back and I'm kind of glad that because I didn't get to see it in real life. Now I've got a mini version of it. Another cute thing that I actually got as a present for a friend is this 50th anniversary pen because I thought it was beautiful. So there you go. This is what it looks like. Look at that. It's This one's a bit more expensive than the regular pens that you can get because it's a little bit more chic, I want to say. You've got the Mickey ears on top, the golden Mickey. And then, yeah, you've got the castle. And it's presented in this nice little box. This was actually $35, so quite expensive deluxe pen is what it's called but yeah like I said I thought it would be a cute little souvenir for a friend I did mention earlier in this video that I went to Topolino's Terrace at the Riviera Resort on one of the days to have their character breakfast and even though honestly over the past five six years I've been trying to actually downsize my Disney collections and I've gotten rid of so many of my Disney plushes and I don't really buy Disney plushes anymore because I truly just don't need them I couldn't say no to this <laughs> And I do have the cast members to blame a little bit. Honestly, I'm joking. I'm not really blaming them. But they were very encouraging. I was hoping to buy something to do with Topolino's Terrace. Just to have something, you know. I was really looking for like a pin maybe. A pin, a t-shirt, a mug of some sort, a magnet. Which had Topolino's Terrace would have been nice. But they didn't sell any of those. Unfortunately, the only things they sold in terms of Topolino's Terrace. And the character breakfast. Were the plushes. Or a t-shirt that was for children only. The t-shirt looked amazing. You can check it out in my vlogs. But obviously it was for kids. So I couldn't wear it. So it's just I really had such a great time at that character breakfast and I thought Mickey was adorable. I mean look at that. Mickey's the painter and his little hat is just so adorable. This one by the way in terms of the price, $25, which I don't think is too bad for a plush. Um so yeah, I love the outfit. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this forever or not. Maybe one day I'll just give this away as well. But I thought I I just wanted to get it. And look, you've got the Riviera Resort logo on his little shoe as well. So yeah, there you go. Okay, I feel like we're probably halfway through this whole video now. And I do apologize, like I said, it is long. I did buy quite a bit and I also ramble a lot. So apologies. The next thing I wanted to show you is actually this 50th anniversary Christmas ornament. Because I just thought it was so cute. And I do already have quite a few of these like Mickey hat uh, Christmas ornaments that I've actually bought from mainly Disney World over the years. I've got like a Thunder Mountain one, I've got uh, this is a Small World one, and I thought it was called cool the 50th one with Mickey and Minnie in the 50th gear. And this one does light up as well. I don't know if it's gonna do it now, let me just, oh, there you go. Hopefully you can kind of see it. You can see it on the back. So in the dark, it will sparkle a little bit. But yeah, I'm excited to put this hopefully on a Christmas tree this year. $25, by the way, for the 50th anniversary Christmas ornament. Now, the next thing I want to show you is something that I found at the Riviera Resort shop. And you would have probably seen me um, kind of spot it in the vlog. This one is a magic band. And it's like the regular magic bands. Because honestly, I was really looking forward to buying myself a magic band this year in Walt Disney World. And all they seem to have was the Magic Band Plus, which is the new Magic Band that I think was released about a year or so ago. You can charge it, interacts with some of the characters, it's bigger, it's heavier, and I just wasn't a fan. It's also expensive. I think it started at $50 and went up to about $70, $80. It's just not my thing. Maybe one day I'll get it, but on this trip, I just didn't feel the need 
to buy one. Let me know in the comments down below if you've got a Magic Band Plus, do you think it's worth it? Also, how long do they last? Because I know that with the regular Magic Bands, I think the limit is about two years. Once you start using them, the cast member Animal Kingdom Lodge told me that about two years is the maximum amount of time that, you know, you can use them for after you've, I guess, activated them. So I've got quite a few Magic Bands from my previous visits to Walt Disney World. None of them work. I've actually also got one, like, very old Magic Band from my very first visit, which was in 2015. That was, like, the first generation of Magic Bands. And then I think I've got about three or four from my other visits um, in the kind of upcoming years. But I did check with the cast member and she said, I'm afraid, ma'am, they probably don't work anymore. Um, so I think, like I said, two years is the limit of a regular Magic Band. But I'd be curious to know what the limit is for a Magic Band Plus, because you can actually charge them can they last forever? Like, do they have more of a lifespan? Let me in the comments down below because maybe if I think it's worth it, I will buy it. I'm so sorry about the noise outside. I live in London and I've had to have the window open because it is quite hot. I'm filming this the day before the coronation, so London is just very busy. It's exciting. Okay, I think the noise is done. But yeah, so this is one of the very few magic bands that I found that were like the regular magic bands, not the Magic Band Plus. And I thought it was very cute. This is the box of it, it's mini, and you can see on the side as well, it's just very cute. I thought it was like, it was unique, right? This is the Magic Band logo. This was actually $39 though, so that, honestly, pretty expensive in itself, but it is limited edition, and at this point, I truly think that they're gonna get rid of Magic Bands, so I thought it would be something nice to keep, because I don't think they'll be making new Magic Bands again. I think they're really, Disney's trying to stick to Magic Band Plus now. I mean, Disneyland California now has Magic Plus, or Magic Band Plus, sorry, and they've only got Magic Band Plus. They don't do any normal Magic Bands there. So I think this is something that will hopefully have value in the future, and I did end up using it. Obviously, it's a Magic Band. The whole purpose of it is for you to use it on your in the parks and it did make life easier and I'm, I'm happy with my purchase. I do also hope that if my next visit to Walt Disney World is next year rather than in three years time again I can reuse that magic band. We'll see. Next let's get to caps because I'm a big cap lover. I love wearing caps, hats, anything. I just love thing, having things on my head even ears they make me happy but I love hats and caps probably even more than wearing ears because they're a lot more comfortable. Now one thing that I spotted which I immediately knew I had to buy is this. This is a basically a Walt Disney World cap and it's a collaboration with Vans so there you go it says Vans on the back anyone who knows me knows that I'm a big big Vans fan I literally only wear Vans my shoes are for the most part 99% Vans I do have a couple of like flip-flops and things like that or like smart shoes but otherwise it's only Vans t-shirts hats almost anything that I wear generally if it's not a Disney thing it would be Vans so Vans if you're watching this maybe you should sponsor me I'm joking but yeah I love Vans and I've been wearing Vans since I was about 15 years old it's just a brand that I'm loyal to and yeah this one was amazing because it kind of combined Disney World and Vans for me and it's a cap so like I said this is the design I love that it's kind of got the very classic Walt Disney World style. It says Florida on it as well oh my god I just noticed Lordy Lord have mercy the tag is actually still attached to it now that is a problem. I don't know how that turned out to be. Maybe the cast member forgot to take this off. Yikes. Okay, well I've definitely paid for this, but they forgot to take the tag off, which means if I wear this, if I go to a shop, I'm going to beep. So I'm going to have to find a way to sort this out. Let me in the comments down below if you know what to do about this. I'm glad I noticed, but I'm also a bit sad because I was hoping to wear this soon. Oh well, we'll need to figure out. Next cap I got, and you again probably would have seen this in the vlogs, I also wore it recently to Disneyland Paris, so if you follow me on Instagram you might have seen me wear it. And it's this beautiful May one from uh, Turning Red, which I think is a very underrated uh, film, Pixar film, I absolutely love it. Please leave a comment down below, let me know if you've watched it and what your thoughts are. But I thought it was amazing, and the cap itself is so comfortable, it's so cute and fluffy. Let me actually wear it for you for a second so you guys can see. There you go, look at that. I love it, I honestly, I might, I might keep it for the rest of this video, I hope you guys don't mind. And actually, why we're at it, let me show you the long tag that this ear has, like what is this honestly, Disney, come on, I just, why? Because it just makes it so difficult, I don't want to cut it, you can cut it, but I don't know, I feel weird about cutting something Disney, I don't know. Let me know what you guys do with ears like this, but normally obviously I have to like, just fold it a million times and then put it on my head, and now we've got a May on my head that is wearing Disney ears. That's a new look. Okay, the next cap that I've got, and I'm gonna take this off now. The next cap is actually a Tron cap, because I was so, so lucky that whilst I was there, 
Tron was doing soft opening, so I got to ride Tron twice, and then I actually also ended up being in Magic Kingdom on the very first day that Tron officially opened, which I'm not mistaken was the 4th of April 2023, which meant that it was a very big, busy day for Tron, loads of the Disney World vloggers, the US ones were in the parks, and they opened up the shop for the first time, Tron Shop in Tomorrowland, and it was cool, you would have probably seen these in the vlogs, if not, check it out down below, I do have a whole playlist for my 2023 Disney World vlogs. But um, yeah, this is the Tron cap. I love the colours on it. I love the ride. I thought the ride was brilliant. It was so fun. And I really just like the design for this. So cool. Look at that. Look at that. And on the back as well. It says Tron. Very, very fun. Um, this probably was about $20 if I'm not misremembering. Again, I've taken the tag off, so I do apologize, but it'll be something that was somewhere around the $20, $25 range. Next, we're going to get to some t-shirts, some outfits, because that actually tends to be the thing that I spend the most amount of money on whenever I go to any Disney park, because obviously I go to Disney a lot and I do these vlogs. It's something that I can actually use and wear. So, you know, Disney t-shirts, spirit jerseys, ears, things like that are very much useful for what I do in life. And the first one I want to show you is this 50th anniversary t-shirt i just thought i just like the feel of this to be honest it's nice and very light as a t-shirt i like the v-neck and you've got mini there in front of the castle which is very cute and then on the back actually it's probably the main thing there you go you've got a cute mini again it says walt disney world 50th anniversary. The price for this was $39, which is quite expensive, but I feel like it's, from what I can feel anyway, it feels like good material and light. So actually perfect for Walt Disney World. And I just really wanted something from the 50th anniversary, something wearable from the 50th anniversary of Disney World. And this is the thing that caught my eye. As most of you probably know, I was very lucky to stay at the Animal Kingdom Lodge for the first 10 nights of my trip. And so, I had to buy this, which is an Animal Kingdom Lodge t-shirt. I love it. It's very nice, very simple, but it's got the logo in the Animal Kingdom Lodge font. And I actually did wear this um, to what, at Animal Kingdom to, on one of my days. And you might have seen this as well. This is a size L. This would have been about $30 if I'm not misremembering. So yeah, very happy with that nice little souvenir. So you probably also spotted that I bought this from, I think it must have been Hollywood Studios or Animal Kingdom, I can't remember. But this t-shirt, look at that. Now, I'm very aware that this isn't going to be everyone's cup of tea. Just like the noise that I'm hearing at the moment is definitely not my cup of tea. There's some kind of motorbike making some loud noises again. Apologies for that. But this is just so cute. It's so me. I put a little poll on my Instagram the day that I bought this to see if people could guess which of like the three t-shirts that was available I bought. And all my friends guessed this right because my friends know me well. This is a me t-shirt. And I wore it. I actually did wear it to Hollywood Studios one day to meet Mickey and it was amazing. It's actually like old school Mickey as well. It's from the opening, I want to say, of Walt Disney World, so 1971. So Mickey does look a little bit different and you have Mickey on the back as well. Yeah, I actually got compliments on this, even though they actually sold this in Walt Disney World. Not a lot of people were buying them, not a lot of people were wearing them. So cast members came up to me and said that they really liked it. I had guests come to me and say, oh my god, I love your t-shirt, where did you get it from? And I just would tell them literally in Walt Disney World. So yeah, I don't know, people I guess aren't really keen on it, but I love it. Leave a comment down below, let me know what you guys think. Similar to that t-shirt, there was also another t-shirt in that same range, which is from the Vault con uh, Collection, also from the 50th anniversary actually. And this is meant to be from the Main Street Electrical Parade and it's got the castle, it's got fireworks, it's got a bit of like the Main Street lights. I just thought this was awesome and this was $39.99 again. I haven't actually worn this yet, that's why I still got the tag attached to it. So I'm presuming the other one's probably around the same, $39 the Mickey one. But yeah, I love it. Something different and I, I'm all about different unique things when it comes to things that I wear. Now one thing that is not very unique, but when it was released, again, it was so popular, so many people loved it and I was very lucky that I just happened to stumble upon it the day that it was released in Walt Disney World and I bought it straight away, wore it the next day to breakfast at Steakhouse 71 and this girl saw it and she was like, oh my god, where did you get this? And I told her that I found it in Hollywood Studios and she was like, I need to go there straight away after this breakfast. So it had just gotten released um, and this is it. I did end up wearing this to Epcot as well one day on one of my last days and I just think it's adorable. It's such a comfortable t-shirt and the design is just amazing. Look at that, how cute do Mickey and Minnie look with the castle? It is adorable and it's Joey Chu. Joey Chu is the artist for this. You can actually buy prints um, of Joey Chu's artwork as well. But I love the colour. Again, I just I just 
this is definitely one of my favorite purchases of this trip and i think some of you guys might agree as well i also had to get myself a tron t-shirt because honestly i just like the design right a lot of my purchases when it comes to outfits doesn't even have to do much about the disney thing like the disney element if i think something looks cool then i'm gonna get it because i don't do a lot of normal shopping when i'm not in disney so most of my outfits like i said are either disney or vans so there you go look at that this is the tron t-shirt that was released um on my last magic kingdom day it's got the day 2023 powering tomorrowland magic kingdom it's for the opening of tron basically i love that it's got the date as well and i did end up wearing this one day as well on one of my last days so yeah this again is a size l and it was probably around 30 dollars again so i'm so sorry that i don't have the tag attached to it because i wanted to use it i do have three more spirit jerseys to show you guys i bought a lot of spirit jerseys obviously one i'm wearing one I'm about to show you now, which is also from that same Joey Chu range, and I did wear this as well to the parks on one of my last evenings. But this, again, is one of my favorites, because look at that. Look at Dumbo. So you've got this cute, adorable artwork of Dumbo on the front, and the color of it is like an ombre shade. It kind of it goes from lighter purple to darker purple on the bottom, and it's actually also got some details on the bottom with the Cheshire Cat here and the teacups. And then the back is my absolute favorite. Like, look at that. Same kind of vibe, the castle, Mickey and Minnie. Honestly, probably one of my favorite spirit jerseys. I'd say this is in my top five favorite spirit jerseys that I've ever bought. Nice and comfortable. And yeah, they're spirit jerseys, by the way, in case you're wondering. As far as I know, most spirit jerseys in Disney World cost about $70. So I'm gonna say this was $70 as well. Another spirit jersey that I got, which some of you observant people might have seen me wear in Disneyland Paris recently, is this one which I just thought was so cool. I'm a big Pixar fan and a big Toy Story fan. And I mean, look at the design there. It's got Woody and French fries, which are two of my favorite things. They literally say, reach for the fries. How awesome is that? I love the color of this as well. I don't own any other spirit jerseys that are this shade of kind of summery mint green. And then the back, so funny. Chillin' and grillin'. It's got Bunny and Ducky as well on the back from Toy Story 4. And the bottom of it as well, it's got little designs from Toy Story and some summery designs as well. Some ice cream, some lemons, melons, etc. Green aliens, there's even Rex. Yeah, you can see there, the Pixar ball as well. So loads of cute, iconic things. Big fan of that. Really happy that I got it. And then the last spirit jersey that I bought is this one, which I haven't actually worn this one yet, which means I can tell you the exact price. This is a size large. And yes, it was $70 indeed. So... There you go, this one I thought was quite cool. It's got the castle in the front. Again, this is something that's not gonna be everyone's thing. A lot of people prefer spirit dresses that are plain, but I like this, I love the colors of this. It feels very, kind of quite retro actually. And the sleeves are blue kind of like a unique shade of blue also one unique detail that i liked about this spirit jersey is that on the right sleeve you've got the walt disney world logo as you can see here which is very very cute i love these little details and then this is what the back looks like so yeah there you go looking forward to wearing that normally i'm not the biggest fan of white spirit jerseys but because this had the blue sleeve so it's only the middle bit that's white and it has that huge design of the castle on the front i think it should be okay next we have a few breakable items which i feel quite lucky about because somehow i managed to get them back without them getting broken and shout out to the cast members they wrap these so well this is a generic walt disney world mug that i thought was adorable i just love it i like honestly it's so me in terms of its style with the colors with the shades look at the pixar ball like a ratatouille we've got epcot You've got Small World, you've got Dumbo, it, it, this is just adorable. This mug was $16, which I don't think is too bad at all, and I think it's a good size as well. It does have the Walt Disney World logo inside. I think it's a really good size because it's a bit smaller, I think that's why it's a bit, you know, less expensive at $16. Some of the mugs can go up to about $20, $25, depending on the sizes. I also got this, which I'm so excited about. This one I actually bought from Animal Kingdom Lodge, which was my main hotel. For this day now look at that these are all handmade handmade in kenya and because i saw giraffes oh sugar babe it's all right it didn't break oh my god that would have been so ironic bringing it all the way from florida to london in one piece and then having it shatter literally as i'm filming thankfully it's all good but um it's made of wood and i really don't know what i'm going to use it for it's a nice little cute box cute little tiny box and you can put little small things in it if you wish to like i said it is handmade 
So uh, they're all going to be different. They have so many different ones. Uh, but they were mainly giraffes in terms of the animals. And because I saw giraffes almost every morning whilst I was staying at the Animal Kingdom Lodge from my room, and you can check out a full room tour, hotel tour of Animal Kingdom Lodge coming up very soon, I thought this was a very cute souvenir to get. Speaking of Animal Kingdom Lodge, though, I also had to get the mug because the mug is so cute. Look at that. <laughs> Look how the handle is literally a giraffe. And then just the print as well. They've got different animal prints. The logo on the front. This mug was $19.99, so close to $20. As I said, I guess because it's got a bit more details than the other one that I showed you. The giraffe is my absolute favorite. Uh, it's orange on the inside. But yeah, size-wise, it's almost the same size as the other one, to be honest. Like, maybe just a little bit bigger. But I think it's just the designs. And I just... Animal Kingdom Lodge was such a beautiful hotel and I think this is going to be a nice way to commemorate it. But if you've seen my whole Disney World vlog series, you would know that I also was lucky enough to stay for a couple of nights at the Contemporary Resort, which was also fun. I didn't love it quite as much as I loved Animal Kingdom Lodge, but I was lucky that I had a theme park view, so that was an incredible bonus. And I also really enjoyed the mugs that they sold for the Contemporary, so look at that. <laughs> this is a very unique shaped mug. But again, I just think it's so clever and creative the way they've done the handle. It's the monorail. So if you didn't know, the Contemporary is one of the few monorail resorts here. It's got access to the monorail, which is so convenient. And yeah, the monorail actually goes through the Contemporary Resort as well, which is so, so fun. And this one is actually for the 50th anniversary as well, because the Contemporary Resort is the same age as Walt Disney World. They opened up at the same time in 1971. So you've got the 50 on the front and this one was $22.99 so this is definitely a bigger mug so it makes sense that it's more expensive than the other two that I've shown you so far so I did quite well actually I only got three mugs I could have bought more definitely because I had so many cute ones but I think three is okay and then two of them are from the resorts that I stayed at one of course is from the actual Walt Disney World itself going back to Animal Kingdom Lodge I also got myself these cute <laughs> wooden giraffes now one of them is just a little i guess statue piece this one was 15 dollars but again it's all made by hand and it's a uh, carved wood which is awesome this i'm just going to have on my desk as i edit videos it's going to look cute and then this is a magnet which i thought was cute cute little giraffe again i like collecting magnets on our fridge so you can see the little magnet on the back but yeah very happy with these i just i love giraffes so much so i think these are quite unique items that you can buy as well from walt disney world they're not very disney they're just animals speaking of the contemporary resort i also got myself these ears because they were just so cool look at these these are actually lounge flight ears you can see the lounge flight logo on the side and one cool thing about lounge flight ears is that unlike the disney ones their tags are quite small and short so it's very easy to use so disney please take note from lounge flight you don't need your tags to be that long um yeah this one has the contemporary resort 50th anniversary on the back and what does it say here all aboard the highway in the sky quite a cheesy message but it's, it's fine because the front is what i care about which has mickey and minnie and then a cool monorail in the middle so let me actually take these off i feel like i my head needs a bit of a break because it is hot and we're gonna maybe end the video now with these ones on what do you guys think i'd love to hear your thoughts on these i feel like they're quite unique and again you know the fact that they've got mickey and minnie on each ear it's quite fun because you, you get to meet mickey and minnie often in the park so if you're wearing these it's just cute they're gonna love it as well these ones were definitely a bit more expensive than 30 dollars which is normally what the ears cost i think these were probably closer to 40 or 45 dollars even which is definitely more expensive than what i normally like to spend on disney ears but because these were for the 50th anniversary of the contemporary and their lounge fly ones I made an exception okay well you're probably very sick of my voice by this point but i do have one more bag of things to show you and in here it's just it's mainly pins to be fair and a lot of small things so let me show you the non-pin stuff first i've got a couple of stickers that i bought which i thought were cute um this one just has walt disney world on it these are again like very much old school style which i thought was cute i might put these on my laptop or something and then this one is walt disney world mickey mouse i thought it was quite cute so yeah a couple of stickers that i'm gonna use i also had to get myself this look at that this beautiful little mermaid keychain i mean how pretty is that it's adorable i love it i love the design i love the back it's very iridescent i think i might even give this to one of my friends my friend hannah 
I think like when I got it I was thinking maybe for myself maybe for my friend probably gonna give it to my friend Hannah because she definitely enjoys Ariel more than I do but I do think it's pretty and again speaking of Ariel don't forget I do have a discount code for this beautiful wild case if you want to buy this 20% off Sam Disney the link will be down below can't wait for the little moment at live action to come out now to make life easier i thought i would show you the pins like this so i wouldn't spend too long on them because i know pins aren't necessarily everyone's thing so this is the tron pin i believe it's limited edition yeah there you go limited release uh because i was obviously there on the opening day and this one was $17.99 which i thought was actually a good price considering it's meant to be a limited edition pin and it does spin as well i i, I can't really do it because it's currently attached to it but it's very cool it's got the date on it 2023 tomorrowland magic kingdom nice little souvenir they also had another limited edition tron pin that was 50 dollars. i thought that was a bit too expensive but this one i thought was fine i got a couple of pocahontas pins because i like collecting pocahontas she's one of my favorite disney princesses um and these were all yellow which is one of the cheaper ones well this is actually silver this is even cheaper than the yellow one because it's smaller so yeah those are the pocahontas ones i got myself one 2023 pin which is from that range they also got a little keychain from i love the colors very cool this one's a silver one i got this one which is a joey chu one again it's the exact same design that i've got on the spirit jersey and the t-shirt but also on a pin here this one was 14.99 dollars which i just thought was cute very adorable We've got tink up there as well and then here this is a cute one as well let me just uh, it's upside down there you go so this one it reminds me of mickey and minnie's runaway railway but it's just meant to be mickey on the railroad in magic kingdom i think with pluto and you've got the castle and again it's by joey chu so joey chu's artwork honestly is just so vibrant so cute so kawaii as i like to call it and these are both joey chu pins this one was also 14.99 dollars I got myself this pin, which I thought was amazing. They had it for a few different Disney movies. I think also a Star Wars one. This one's $17.99, which makes sense because it is a slightly bigger pin. And I just love it. Again, the style. You've got different characters from Toy Story here. You've got Bo Peep. You've got the aliens. You've got Rex, etc. But you actually don't have, like, the main characters. So Woody and Buzz aren't there. So it's a bit more niche. And I thought it was very, very fun. Then I got two pins for the two different resorts I stayed at. So this one is the uh, Disney's official Contemporary Resort pin, I believe. That's the only one that I could find anyway. You can see the Contemporary Resort there. You can see the castle and a boat. I like it. It's very nice and simple. And then this one is the Jambo House one. I was hoping to get like a regular Animal Kingdom Lodge one, but they didn't have one. They had one for Jambo House, which is the section that I stayed at. Um, and then also one for Kidani Village, which is the DVC bit. So there you go. These are my two resort pins. I like to collect them from the resorts that I stay at. And then these last two pins over here. Sorry, that's my phone there. These last two pins are actually for some friends of mine. So this is for my friend Amy. Amy, if you're watching this, I'm going to send this to you soon. She's getting married soon. She got engaged earlier this year. And I just thought this was a cute little souvenir to get for her from Walt Disney World. And then this is for my friend Hannah. You might have seen Hannah in my Disneyland California vlogs from the end of 2022. She likes collecting these like princess pins. She's already got a Cinderella one. I thought she would also enjoy this aura one. I actually also bought a bell one for her, but I've already given the bell one to her because it was her birthday a few weeks ago. So the bell one, hopefully you can see a little footage of it now. Um, same kind of style. So I'm just kind of adding to her little pin collection of these princesses. So there you go. These are the pins that I bought from Disney World. Oh, I also forgot. I also got this one. This was the only 50th anniversary pin that they had left, the Chip and Dale ones. I guess all the other ones had gotten sold out by the point I got there, uh, which was towards the end of the 50th celebrations. But I love Chip and Dale, and I thought it would be nice to have at least one pin from the 50th. Oh, I also got this pin from my friend Rebecca. I forgot to show it to you. It's so cute, and it's so her. It basically says, Social Butterfly. She's a big Bambi fan. And for some reason, I've been calling her Butterfly for many years. It's like almost her nickname from me to her, and she loves it. So when I saw this, I had to get it for her. Hopefully, she'll enjoy it. I can now send it to her in the post. And this was a silver one. So, Rebecca, if you're watching this, you know, get excited. You should be receiving this soon. Now, the last two things, and yes, I have now resorted back to my lovely turning red May hat, are a couple of magnets, which um, one is for Animal Kingdom Lodge. This one was $12.99. I absolutely love it. Honestly, Animal Kingdom Lodge is one of my all-time favorite resorts, not even just when it comes to Disney, just generally in life. Any hotel or resort that I've ever stayed at, Animal Kingdom Lodge is in the top five for sure. It is such a stunning resort. I had a great time there and I love the logo as well. It's a pretty big magnet. So there you go. I also had to get myself an Animal Kingdom one just because it's my favorite theme park in Walt Disney World. 
so there you go this is animal kingdom theme park uh, magnet that they had Sclair got giraffes on there there's mickey on a safari it's not my favorite i, I wish animal kingdom did more magnets I th and i think actually because it was their 25th anniversary recently they have released some new ones but um i wish they did more i would love to see more theme park specific magnets from every theme park and also like even pins like pins that just kind of have animal kingdom on them would be great rather than different attractions so there you go though i have been talking so much that my throat is actually starting to hurt so i can only imagine how much suffering you have done having to watch this long video but thank you i really do appreciate you i hope you enjoyed this vlog i hope it was useful i hope it was entertaining to some degree if you are traveling to walt disney world anytime in the near future maybe it can give you some kind of idea of what you can find there obviously the 50th merch i only got a couple of things really from that range and they have now almost ended Ended, I think or if they have some available it will be very much discounted which will be to your benefit but some of the other things were new things that uh, yeah I enjoyed as you probably saw I mainly bought things that I could wear so spirit jerseys t-shirts hats things like that some pins some little bits and bobs for friends and family and mugs because mugs <laughs> They're my weaknesses. One thing I do have to also mention is that if you watch my Walt Disney World trip, I was very lucky that I had almost $900 worth of dining and shopping credit in the offer that I had bought. So when I bought the package, I think back in 2021, there was this offer where you could get a certain amount of dining credit slash shopping credit included. And because I was solo, I was on my own, all of that credit was for me. So obviously if you go with a family, if you go with friends, you're gonna have to split that up that makes sense you're still gonna get the same money it's not per person it's per length of stay but being just on a solo tri trip it meant that the whole $90 was for me so I mainly used that on my food and honestly it was almost enough I didn't really have to pay too much of my own money really the majority of it was sorted through the dining credit that I had which meant that most of the money that I had taken with me to spend most of my spending many money and sorry about the lord have mercy honestly it's like nearly 8 20 pm and there are still loud cars outside but yeah most of my spending money w went on merchandise and that was just a very lucky situation that i was in because i had that dining credit which meant that my food side of things was sorted out and that is actually one of the benefits of traveling solo especially if you end up getting a package that gives you that dining credit slash shopping credit so actually leave a comment down below if you would like me to do like an updated solo traveling tips video because i have done one years ago it's on my channel somewhere from probably like 2017 or 2018 but a lot of you guys keep asking me still on instagram and stuff about how it is to travel on your own especially with disney so i could do that because there are definitely pros and cons up to it so obviously this dining credit situation that's absolutely a pro because you've got all of that money for yourself if you're on your own you don't have to split it with anybody but there are also some cons so i could do that if you want me to do that leave a comment down below but um with that i am going to love you and leave you i am so tired and also quite warm i hope you enjoyed it i would love to hear your thoughts on the things that i bought was there a particular item that you really thought was great was there anything that you just thought sam why the hell did you buy this i mean this is probably i am now hearing some birds okay i can deal with birds i don't mind birds as much as i mind cars <laughs> yeah this is probably the one item that it's a bit questionable, you know, because I'm not really going to do much with it. But it's one of those things where with plushes these days, if I end up buying one, which honestly I haven't bought one in a long time, if I end up buying one, I look at it, I put it somewhere, I see if I if it brings me enough happiness. If not, it goes to charity or if um, I might give it to a friend's child or something like that. I don't keep it if I don't feel like it gives me enough joy. But for now, it is making me happy. But um, honestly, from everything that I bought, probably I can't even pick the mugs i love the animal kingdom mug here <laughs> so pretty that little giraffe box as well loved it this i love this spirit i mean obviously everything i bought i loved otherwise i wouldn't have bought it but thank you so much for watching this video big thank you again to wild for sponsoring this video as well don't forget to check out the link down below and use my code sam disney if you want 20 percent off with a little mermaid case especially and do let me know if you end up buying it it helps support the channel as well so i would appreciate you checking it out and i will see you in the next video subscribe if you don't want to miss out because there will be plenty more walt disney world vlogs and disneyland paris ones coming soon Bye bye